Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. We got our NFL Week 10. Uh, back to morning game. We got a London game going on. Giants uh, versus Carolina. Uh, six and a half spread, total 40 and a half. These London games could be, uh, could go one way or the other. Uh, these two teams could go one way or the other. So, uh, very low scoring. Uh, it's team rankings. If you're familiar with the channel, I show this a lot. It shows different stats and uh, different things. I always like to check these out. I'll scan through it so you guys can look back. But uh, basically, it tells you no matter what team's playing, you can see basically where they line up in the NFL on a whole bunch of different categories. But um, both these teams low scoring. Uh, points per game, Giants ranked 20, uh, 32nd last place, Carolina ranked 29th, yards per game, 26th, Carolina ranked 30th, so definitely uh, it's going to be low score and low yards, or it could be more yards because the defenses aren't good, but uh, Russian, Russian yards per game, Giants are ranked 19th. Over here, you can see Carolina is ranked 25th, and the Giants' defense is ranked 29th. Carolina's defense is ranked 32nd, which is last. So basically, it goes Giants' offense to Carolina's defense, and then it'll go Giants' uh, Carolina's offense to Giants' defense. I like to check out the rushing. I like to check out the passing. Uh, Giants ranked 23rd, 191 yards. Carolina ranks 30th, 176 yards. Carolina's defense for passing 25th, giving up 232. And uh, Giants goes down even, like, breaks it down on the third down conversions, kickers, all that stuff. So, like, once you figure out how to read it, you can look at it pretty quick. And help figure out what you want to, which route you want to go. Um, as far as plays go, I kept it simple. I went with uh, Danny Dimes rushing over. Uh, where did I play? I think I did 25. They got that 24 and a half. Yeah, 24 and a half on FanDuel. Um, he's hit this quite a few times, but quite a few times he didn't hit it. Last game, he hit it, uh, gave Washington a challenge, uh, surprisingly. A few games before that, Pittsburgh, great run defense, great defense, he had nothing. Philly, eh, so-so. But, uh, what's starting to happen is... They started giving him some options, some some run play options, trying to treat him like a like a uh, no frills Josh Allen. But uh, Carolina overall thirty second last place, like I said in Russian, fourteenth uh, to the QB. Playing overseas, jet lag, all that stuff, uh, unfamiliar territory. All this stuff comes into play. I think it can lead to plays breaking down, him just trying to take off. Or even now, the last couple of weeks, they've been scripting plays for him to run. So uh, 24 and a half, let's get it. Danny Jones has exceeded 26 and a half, four of his last five versus bottom 10 in defense for rushing, averaging 38. But uh, get it where you can. I always all line it down. Let's go. So, uh, Theo Johnson, 
been watching him mad at myself. Uh, I wanted to play him last week, and I decided not to. Uh, been doing that a lot lately, second guessing myself, and the, all the plays are hitting, the plays I've been picking haven't been hitting. Been one of them. Shit, it's been a little over a week now. But uh, yeah, so Theo Johnson, he's a tight end for the Giants, receiving yards uh, 24 and a half, 25 plus. Uh, overall, ranked 23rd. Tight end, they're ranked 29th, giving up 63 yards. Let's clear this. Uh, for the last five. Uh, four out of ten, actually, but four out of the last five. Four to nine, I should say, right? Nine games so far. Two, four, six, seven, eight, yeah. So receptions and targets are going up. Five, three. Philly didn't get any. Four. Got six targets. Uh, just noticing he's getting there. You know, Dane Jones is hitting him. He's a big guy, big target. And uh, he's been uh, producing. So I can see them definitely going back to him. And Carolina being so bad against a tight end. Run a lot of zone and things like that, and tight ends will settle in that zone. It's just easier instead of man to man. You want to do man to man, though. He's, he's such a big guy, he can just put his body between them. Um, it all depends on what Danny, Danny Jones shows up, right? Theo Johnson exceeded 23 and a half in four of his last five, averaging 32. Uh, 23 and a half. I got it at 24 and a half. The line must have went down. Yeah, always get it as low as you can. Yeah, 23 and a half on Jeff Kings. All right, let's get a deal, Johnson. That's all I play. Them two are uh, good enough for me. Let's get it. Uh, seven and a half right now for the Chiefs, total 42. Uh, Denver points per game, ranked 23rd. KC ranked 4th with 18. Uh, KC's giving, uh, scoring 25 points, ranked 10th. And... Uh, Value Denver points. Uh, Denver's ranked number third. Let's scan through it. Russian, Denver ranked 16th. KC's defense for Russian ranked fourth, so they got a good run defense. Kansas City's Russian ranked fifth, and Denver's defense ranked 17th. KC's passing, uh, Denver's passing ranked 12th, uh, excuse me, 27th. And uh, KC's pass defense rank 15th. Uh, KC's passing rank 10th. And uh, Denver's rank 6th, their pass defense. KC got a great kicker. Penalties is a big thing. I've been realizing that the last couple weeks. Um, Teams that get a lot of penalties me killing my props. But, uh, yeah, so the plays I went with, I played this last week. Uh, I should have been playing for a couple of weeks. Uh, St. Pierre receiving yards over seven and a half. Sometimes if you wait for the game to start, I said this last week, they'll bring the number down. You can get it at like five sometimes, sometimes even lower. Um, because he usually don't get the ball right away. So they'll end up dropping it down. Um, he's cleared this four in a row. Had a couple. He normally only gets one or two receptions. He did get a couple last week. I think he even had a touchdown. He had five targets, four receptions. But he only normally gets one or two. But that's all we need. Like I said, that was ranked sixth, 23rd. 
to the running back position. Um, he's exceeded 7.5 in 11 of his last 12 games at home, averaging 26. If I break this down to last year, too, you can see. Yeah. Come on. I don't know if it's frozen. Yeah. Let it go. All right. St. Pierre. Reception yards, so it's seven and a half. Let's get it. All right, so next up, I went with our running back for Denver, Javante Williams. His receiving yards over 18 and a half. Uh, line went to start at 18, 19, 20. So just always get it as low as you can get it. Um, A little hit or miss, obviously. You're playing against, uh, no, obviously, I mean, like the playing against KC overall, ranked 12th in receiving yards to the running back position, ranked 13th. Uh, running backs, I've said this before, it's more, uh, I'm on 20, 2023. I knew it was something looked off. Um, it's situational football, uh, check downs, especially with a new QB, like they have a rookie. Um, you get check downs, uh, third down conversions, two minute drills before the half at the end of the game, uh, or just when the receivers get covered up, you know. Um, last 10, 60%. Uh, he's cleared this, what, five out of the nine? Getting a decent amount of uh, targets, uh, and catches the ball well. It's only been a couple drops throughout the whole year. Uh, playing in KC, very loud place. Um, Denver's beyond the road. Uh, I just think he'll get a couple opportunities and should go off 18, 19 we need. Uh, what does it say? Don't got no sayings. But uh, he is second on the team in targets as well. So uh, that includes all receivers to tight ends. So let's get it. From the Williams receiving yards. All right. So uh, San Francisco at Tampa, six and a half for San Fran. Uh, total 15 and a half. So uh, expecting some points. Uh, Quick one through, nothing crazy. Uh, San Francisco, oh, Christian McCaffrey's back. Uh, so, yeah, it's definitely a play I picked. I'll run through it if you guys want to check it out. But, uh, yeah, so I went with McCaffrey's receiving yards over 24 and a half. Uh, it's been out the whole year, something with Achilles and calf, so I feel like he waited real long just so he, it didn't re-aggravate, so he should be good to go. Um, Tampa Bay got a lot of injuries, but they're still kicking around. Um, Could have went a lot of plays during this game, I think. Uh, Tampa Bay overall, receiving yards ranked 30th. Running back, they rank thirty first. Uh, they get a lot of yards, they but they give up a lot of yards. I just took the easy route, McCaffrey receiving yards. This is all last year, but uh, Duke can catch, he can run. Um, he'll probably go over his rushing yards as well. Uh, I threw him in a TD parlay. I'll uh, get to that at the end, but uh, yeah, he's back and he's a beast, and if he's Half the man he was last year, he'll easily go over this and uh, get two touchdowns plus 100 yards. Let's get it in Caffrey. <laughs> so uh, it's another one I've been playing throughout the year. Mayfield's rushing yards. I don't play it all the time, but uh, I think it's another good spot. Uh, four out of the last five. Six out of nine for the year. 
He didn't get much over it, um, but he's not afraid to run. Uh, situational football, once again, if it's available, he'll take it. He's not scared. Uh, he won't really have – I've hardly ever seen him do a, a play where he's supposed to run, but he will take advantage of it. Uh, San Francisco got a good run defense, ranked sixth against the QB. They are ranked 16th, giving up at least 20 yards a game. He's getting a couple of attempts, nothing crazy. But he takes advantage of them when he can. Uh, he succeeded 13 and a half for his last five, averaging about 25. Um, you know, they got a pretty good uh, secondary, too. Uh, San Fran, so the receivers get locked down. Um, you know, if the, if the spot is there, he's going to take it. Uh, he's not afraid to get it. Uh, he could do it in the beginning. It might be a long sweat, but uh, he'll get it done. Mayfield, rushing yards, let's get it. All right. Last up, I went with James Cook, rushing yards, first quarter, over 13 and a half. Playing Indy, uh, playing at Indy, overall ranked 31st, rushing yards, running back, ranked 29th. Uh, he didn't clear this last week. Uh, I've been playing it basically every week. Not every week, but a lot. Um, the number wasn't this high. Sometimes it was lower. But uh, he didn't get it last week. Miami had the ball almost the whole first quarter. Um, they had one, Bills had one possession, and then their second possession was right at the end. They ran into the second half. Uh, I thought he catched it, but it was actually the very beginning of the second quarter. Uh, as long as they get it, you know, he's averaging about five yards per carry. So uh, as long as he gets a couple of attempts, he'll easily go over this. All right. He usually gets like 20 around there. So, uh, yeah, let's get it. Uh, I like first quarter, too, because it's cash. You get paid for it, and then I'll dump the money into another play. Look for a live bet. But, uh, yeah, let's get it. Uh, if you could like the video, new viewers, hit that subscribe button. Um, yeah, and I appreciate everyone. Uh it's been a rough week or two. Just been going through some shit and, uh, you know, it's kind of bleeding into this and everything else. And my judgment's been off. Uh, you know, I'm probably not alone. It's been one of them times where, you know, I'll do the research, find the plays, and then I'll play something else. And all the plays I wanted to play, but didn't cash, and the ones I'm playing didn't cash. <laughs> you know, uh, I guess it's like a tale of two tapes. The other thing, too, I'll flip it on, and I'll, I'll check out a couple other people's videos, and I'll be like, oh, okay. That's, or go that way, since, you know, I had a couple misses. And the fuck, the fuck if I know. It's bad to follow somebody when, when, they, uh, when they're like, oh, I'm on a 10-0 run. I'm on a da 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 run because eventually they're going to fall off, and it's usually after the big run is when they fall off. So follow me now because I've been doing shitty and I'm about to go on a run. You heard me? All right, I appreciate everyone. Hit that like, subscribe, and let's get that money. Ace money to name, get paper to game. Let's go. All right, uh, I did. Two TD parlays. Uh, I don't bet that much. Parlays are like lotto tickets, but uh, you know, sometimes you get lucky. I did uh, anytime touchdowns. I did Cook, Hunt, Hill, and McCaffrey. Or four of them, $5, pays out 87 and Then I did another one with Gibbs, Barkley, McCaffrey, Hunt. Robinson and Jones, a little six-legger. Uh, also, sometimes I'll probably my whole ticket. Come on, sorry. So I'll just probably the plays I played. 
It's gonna be one of them days. I'm gonna hit them all, watch, clean, sweep, knock it out the park. Yeah, I just watched back the last video. It's 5.30 in the morning, Sunday. So, uh, I look, I got look fucking whacked, and I'm like, I'm 17 months sober, 17 months and uh, four days, actually. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely not high, I'm just tired. Uh, it's for my PO, if you're watching. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone. Hit that like, uh, and let's get them subs up there. East Money name and paper the game, let's go. Thank <laughs> you.